Hey, what's up guys? I'm Rick Novleski with TechSpin. So I've done a couple of builds recently and ADATA has sent over a review sample of their XPG SX8200 480GB NVMe Gen 3 SSD. And we'll be checking that out in addition to the 240GB model I purchased myself for my home theater PC build. An NVMe PCIe Gen 3 SSD drive is basically still storage, just like slower, huge capacity hard drives or HDDs connecting with SATA and solid state drives or SSDs also using SATA but with faster flash memory which is more expensive. And while newer hard drives transfer at around 170 megs a second and can boot Windows 10 to the desktop in under a minute, current gen SSDs can transfer at up to 500 megs a second and dramatically reduce boot times to sub 20 seconds. But what if I told you it could be even faster? By using an M2 slot, SSDs connect directly to the CPU bus, bypassing the SATA controller. And now with generation three SSDs, they have super fast read and write speeds. This ADATA XPG SX8200 480 gig model has a top throughput of about 3200 megs a second read speed and 1700 write speed. However, your motherboard may not hit the top speed and I'll reveal my findings about that later in the video. The 240 gig model can reach near 3200 as well for reads and about 1200 megs a second for writes. Still very awesome. So what will you need to get this speed? Well, you'll need a motherboard with an M2 slot that can boot off the drive, but bottom tier motherboards usually don't have an M2 slot. With ADATA's latest and greatest SX8200 PCIe SSDs, I have super fast systems now, and I'll show you how well it performs right after this. ADATA covers all your memory and power needs with blazing fast NVMe M2 drives for a snappy Windows 10 experience, SSDs to rugged external hard drives, and power banks, charging pads, USB flash drives, and more. Check them out at the link below. So the ADATA XPG SX8200 NVMe PCIe SSD has 480 and 240 gigabyte versions, and also there's an elusive 960 gig with the 480 going for 153 bucks on Amazon US at the time of writing, and the 240 going for 79 bucks. The 960 gig wasn't being offered on Amazon yet at the time of production. Inside each box, you'll get the SSD, and it comes with a heat shield. ADATA matches the five year limited warranty period of other NVMe manufacturers. On the SSD, the gray chipset closest to the slot is a Silicon Motion 2262 controller, and going left, there's two fast Nanya SLC memory buffers, one on the front and one on the back. Finally, the Micron manufactured 64 layer 3D NAND ADATA chips make up the big storage here. These drives have a great trick up their sleeve from over provisioning, which is hidden capacity on the drive used to spread data writes more evenly across the NAND blocks, allowing for better endurance and write performance. The SX8200 uses a dynamic buffer in addition to the over-provisioning to get high performance metrics. In addition, you can grab ADATA's custom SSD toolbox to enable smart monitoring, perform secure erases, and view trim functions. A very nice feature is a trimmed down version of Acronis, an awesome and powerful cloning software I've used for years. Here, it'll allow you to clone data from the existing drive so you can get to the speed without having to reinstall Windows and all your programs. Although, you should really do that anyways for best performance. <laughs> the real story here is something interesting I found when I first started testing. I noticed that on my MSI B360 Gaming Arctic boards, I wasn't hitting close enough to the SSD's maximum read specification, and there was an almost 20% difference between the stated speed and what I saw through testing. So, after some research, I tried benchmarking on my Z270 MSI Titanium X Power with an i7-7700K, which has two Ultra M.2 slots, luckily, so I didn't have to install Windows again for my main video editing machine. And the results were a little surprising. So we're putting both ADATA versions against a generic KingMax drive for a little competition. Using Crystal Disk Mark 6.0.1 64-bit, on a Windows 10 Pro 64-bit install and running AS SSD benchmark 2.0.6694 as a backup benchmark. Hardware for the B360 is of course the MSI Gaming Arctic with an Intel i3-8100. 
So in our first round of tests, I was seeing a 19% drop in the expected throughput of the drive. But with the Z270 with i7-7700K combination, the drive hit closer to spec, getting a 3022 average on the Z270 versus 2599 average on the B360. The smaller ADATA 240 gig wasn't too far behind on the B360 coming in at 2391. Write speeds are limited though to about 1200 megs a second so seeing 1174 is right where that should be. For a little healthy competition, I have included a stick of KingMax PX3280 PCIe Gen 3 256 gig SSD, which is rated at a 1600 read and 850 write speed. Read is pretty close at 1583, and write is over spec at 901. And to show the gains over a SATA 6 gig SSD, I've included a new 2018 Transcend 128 gig 3D NAND type SATA SSD with read speeds hitting 562 and writes at 487. Very good for a SATA SSD, but wow, the PCIe SSDs just dominate with over five times the read speed and 3.4 times the write speed. For a sanity check, I also ran the AS SSD benchmark on the drives and indeed, we were seeing a similar 14% or so difference between the Z270 with i7 combo versus the B360 with i3 combo. The real question which I'll need to test further will be if the B360 or the i3 chipset is the factor here or perhaps it's both together causing the loss in this speed. Now as I said, this episode took a ton of research because I have done SSD testing in the past but I wanted to make sure I was getting the correct numbers for our benchmarks. For the ADATA XPG SX8200, I saw a really amazing write cache graph from Tom's Hardware which shows the capacity of the high speed buffer and they said it's because of the huge over-provisioning and even two full Blu-ray discs worth of data didn't hit that drop. So kudos to ADATA for ensuring excellent performance and you can rest easy knowing it's a limit you're unlikely ever to hit. Please take a moment to like this video and if you like what you see then please do subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new content. So the ADATA XPG SX8200 line is really fast and a great option for turning your newer system with an M2 slot into a hyper fast beast of a machine. The 480 gig model can do 3200 reads and 1700 writes and goes for $153 on Amazon US. Truly an amazing upgrade and rates a 10 on our meter. The 240 gig model gets around 3200 read speeds with the right hardware and can do 1100 megs a second writes although we got over that at 1174, really good performance. It's really amazing to get this level of performance in this tiny package, and it'll drop your Windows boot times down to just a few seconds. For this great advancement, it earns a Techspin Platinum Award for product excellence, and now gives another big name manufacturer some really head-to-head -head competition on speed, quality, and value. Now, when you see this online, it's advertised as coming with a heat shield, and I don't know if it was intentional or a mess up with engineering or the adhesive applicator guys, but if you attach it according to the thermal adhesives, like that, and it will go like this one. Oh, but the connector's over here, so it'll be upside down. Personally, I'm not using this anyways, but it's an unfortunate mistake in an otherwise perfect Gen 3 SSD. The ADATA XPG SX8200 will be a great addition to your system and I'm thankful to ADATA for lending us this review unit so we could see some really impressive numbers from a new Gen 3 PCIe SSD. If you want to know more about storage, I'll be putting a link here to our upcoming video where we talk more about NVMe PCIe SSDs. Just a quick reminder, if you want to connect with us online, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at TechSpinReview. You can also help by buying through our affiliate links, visiting our wish list on Amazon, or support us directly on Patreon, both links below. Overall, my systems are much faster to get to the desktop and are really snappy. And of course, this will increase my and your productivity too, if you choose to get one. Oh, and if you do, please do use our affiliate links for Amazon. It supports the channel, so thank you very much in advance. If you pick up an ADATA PCIe SSD or another brand, we'd be interested to know your results. And did your board chipset or processor affect the speed you got? Please let us know with your thoughts and experience with it in the comments. So what do you think of the overall design? Let us know. And we always like to hear your ideas for upcoming episodes. Feel free to let us know what you'd like to see next. Please hit that thumbs up button if you like this video or tell us how we can improve for next time. 
see more videos like this, please do subscribe for new content and be sure to click that bell icon to get notified when we put up a new video. We always check the comments and we respond to most. So if you have a question or if we miss something, then please do tell us down below and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thank you all very much for watching and see you again soon. Bye for now.